I'm Alexi and welcome to today's video. Have you ever been too scared to do your own electrical work? Well today I'm going to show you how easy it is to take one single wall sconce or wall light and split it off so you have three different lights. Thanks again for watching and make sure you subscribe at the bottom so you can watch all of my tips and tricks and future home and DIY projects. First things first, I am not an electrician. I am not an expert, so please don't hold me liable if anything goes wrong with your electrical work. It would be best to get your work checked by an electrician just to make sure you haven't done anything incorrectly. One thing to note is that I already finished this project, but I've had so many questions about how I did it and how terrified people are about doing their own electrical work. So if I could do it, then I promise you can do it too, and I'll walk you through step by step. It's really quite easy if you know what you're doing. The very first thing you need to make sure to do is turn off your electricity. It cannot be on in the area that you're working on. So go downstairs, if it's in your basement, that's where my breaker is. Turn off the breaker that works for that area of your house. Step one is you're gonna want to remove your light fixture that's attached to your wall. So I've adjusted this light box to something similar to what your light box will look like. Your Romex cord will be attached somewhere up in the walls to the actual power and it comes out through your light box. Here are your three wires that you should see. You'll see one black, one white, and one copper. The copper is your grounding wire. So after you've taken off your light fixture, this is about what it will look like. What you'll need to do is remove your light box. If it's something with um, flanges or arms like this, you'll have to unscrew it, unscrew these to loosen up your flanges. These are old, so it's more likely you don't have this. You might have a box that is attached to a stud, and good luck getting that out, but I'm sure you will be able to get it out. But you have to take out your light box, so find a way to get it out. The next thing you'll need to do is look inside the wall of the hole that you just made and figure out where the studs are that you're gonna have to drill through. So for me, I, the space between my lights was about 10 feet. So for me, I had three studs on one side of my light box and three more studs on the other side of my light box that I had to take my cord through to get to the light. The way you'll find those is through a stud finder. So just use a stud finder as carefully as you can and mark right on your wall with a pencil where your studs are on the wall. Once you've identified where you want your new light to be, you're gonna have to cut a hole through the drywall so you know where it needs to be. So first things first, you can take a pencil and mark a circle on your wall. Most light boxes come with templates, little paper templates, so you can use that onto your wall. So mark where it needs to be, and what I like to do is just take a drill, a large drill bit, and drill one place on the outline of your circle. And then, here's a little trick, I use a jigsaw to cut through my drywall. It is so much faster and it doesn't take much muscle to do. So after you've made your first drill hole, you'll pretty much just take your jigsaw right in and just go all the way around the outside of that circle that you marked until your hole comes out. Now before you install anything in that hole, we have to get your new Romex cord from the existing light over to your new hole that you just drilled. Pretty much you have to find a way through each of the studs that you have. Hopefully you have less than I do. Hopefully you have just one because that would make your life a lot easier. So take your Romex cord and measure out how far it needs to go from the existing light to your new light and give yourself plenty of extra. Trust me, you will need it. Uh, I needed way more extra than I thought, so make sure you give yourself plenty of extra. Then what you're gonna wanna do, this should be out of your wall like we talked about, and just be kind of hanging there. So you're gonna take your Romex cord that you just cut off and you're gonna stick it through one of these holes. So just push it through. So you basically want your wires to be the exact same length. Take your wire stripper. I linked my favorite one below and 
I've also linked everything that you're going to need in the description underneath, so make sure to check that out. Take your wire strippers and strip down pretty low. There's little markings where it's a 14-2, which is what this cord is. Take your strippers and put it down below. Take this off. Um, mine has a little strip of like paper in it. You can take that out. You're going to want the length, the tops of these to be the same length. And then the copper is already stripped, obviously. You're going to need to strip the black and the white. Here you go. So next what you're going to need are the push-in wire connectors. These are lifesavers. You do not want to use a wire cap. Take your push-in wire connector and pretty much for one wire connector, you're going to connect your white cords. These are hard for you to push them in, but they're really secure and they don't pull back out. So these are amazing. So basically just push your wire in for just one white cord and then take your next wire cord and push that through. There you go. So then you're gonna take your next one and I connect the black wires and then you're gonna take your last one and connect the copper wires. So then you're gonna repeat this step two more times. This is the one that's connecting to your actual electricity. This one is the one that connects to your first new light. And then you're gonna drill a hole where you want your second light to be if you have a second light. Drill that hole, measure how far it needs to be, and do this step a third time, and then a fourth time for the one that connects to your actual light. I hope that makes sense, I can show you. So this is about what your light will look like. So one of these wires, we'll say this one, is going to your electricity. And you've added this one, which will go through to one of your lights, and you've added another one that will go to your third light. The last thing you need is a Romex cord that will connect to this existing light fixture. So you're gonna add one more Romex cord that will be short, shorter, that will basically just attach to each of these three wire connectors and will feed right back out in the same place to your light fixture so you can give power to this one. I'll show you what that looks like. To be completely honest, this will be a lot easier if you just separate. Take them out completely of your Romex encasing and just take your three cords, one copper, one black and one white and feed those into your connectors. Let me show you. Okay, so I took those three wires and I connected, the, connected them into the last port on each of these connectors. So this is what your light should look like at this point. One of these Romex cords will be going to your electricity in your house. These two cords will go to the new holes that you just drilled, and then these ones will go to the light that will be attached to this light box. I hope that all makes sense. I know this has been tricky, but this is the hardest part about the whole thing. Next, you have to get your Romex cord behind your drywall and out of the hole. There's no like easy way to do this. You just have to take your cord and go through your studs. So since you already have a hole from your existing light box, you don't want to make that any bigger because you have to place this right back in your hole. So leave that hole alone and it should just be out at this point. Between the two studs that you have to go through, if you have to go through two, mind you, basically you're going to cut a hole through the drywall big enough that a drill can fit through the drywall hole. So again, figure out where your two studs are, 
mark out where you're going to cut a hole through your drywall. Drill a little starter hole into your drywall and then use the same technique as you did for your light box. Use your jigsaw to cut out a little rectangle. And then take your drill again and drill through the stud a hole just big enough for your Romex cord to fit through on one side and then into the other side. One thing to note is depending on the number of studs you have, you may not have to cut a hole through all of your studs. Just use some common sense depending on how many studs that you have to get your Romex cord through the wall out of your existing hole. Then you're gonna repeat that step on the other side if you're splitting your one light to two others to have three total. And you'll just be cutting holes through your drywall and um, fishing your wire through the holes of your studs and um, out to your existing hole. By that step, you are pretty much on the home stretch. You just have to take your Romex cord and push it through your new light boxes and strip them down like you've already done um, to this stage so that you have three wires ready to go for your new light fixture that you'll install. For wall sconces, this is the light box that I recommend. I will link it below though so you know exactly what type this is. But pretty much after you push your cord um, through this hole, through your studs and out the new hole, you're gonna take your cord and stuff it in through your light box like we did with these previous ones. And then you're ready to install this light box into your wall. Pretty much what you have to do, you have your hole already cut, you're gonna push this through your wall, and then the drywall is going to fit between these two areas. See these two screws in the very back? Um, after you push this all the way through, you're gonna take your drill, a Phillips attachment, you're just gonna tighten these screws at the very back and it's going to tighten this metal piece so that you're sandwiching your uh, drywall and the light box securely on the wall. One really important thing to note is that this type of light box will only hold about 10 pounds. In most cases that I've found, wall lights do not exceed like five to six pounds. So you should be perfectly fine using this. Just to make sure I've explained myself clearly, I'm gonna have you watch me do this final step um, so you've done everything correctly. Okay, so there you have it. This is how your light fixtures will look pretty much by the time you're done. Um, you'll have three wires ready to go for your brand new light fixture that you can connect to these three wires. Um, this will be installed in your wall on one side and you'll have another one installed on the other side. And then you have three light boxes ready to go for your new light fixtures. I'm so happy that you took the time to watch today's video. Thank you so much. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe so I can show you lots of DIY and home tips and tricks. If you have any questions at all, make sure to write them in the comments, or if you found an easier technique than one of the ones that I've showed you today, write that in the comments as well. I installed these lights on my stairs, and I'm gonna show you what my final project looked like to give you some inspiration.